me to West of Loathing featuring Jack John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> um we are doing stuff. I forgot what our what our objective was. Let me let me talk to our buddy here. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, well, if you're looking to find out the lay of the land, I guess a railroad crew would be able to give you a fairly literal interpretation. What? <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Woo! Ice skate. Let's go. Oh, there's a dude over here. This guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. Check him. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just uh, sort of uh, broke all of a sudden. I guess uh, I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm going to need some med medicine for this. Can you help me? Should we do it explodes? Or no? Well, we got the coin flipper for that. Let me uh, open that up. Uh, let me see. Do I still have my quarter room? I think someone took the quarter I had in my room. <laughs> the monsters. Uh, head. Uh, heads? Okay, I guess we're doing sure then. Ah, thank you. There's a mission up north. Yes. The nuns are there were a little hospital and some medical supplies. Can you give me some broken leg pills? You discovered a new map location. Rescue mission. <laughs> broken leg pills. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Don't worry. Uh, don't have any with me. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> okay, coming up. Uh, that's it's actually really funny how she's like, yeah, I don't have any with me, and they exist in this world. Let's go. Let's go do that. Uh, let's see. Where is that at? Oh, it's all the way over here. So you might hit two things. Oh. You see an imposing silhouette of an army fort on the horizon. You discovered a map location of Fort All Dead. <laughs> let's keep going where we're going. <laughs> I don't want to get distracted now. Uh oh, what she have to say? <clears throat> Howdy, Alice. There's an old mission not far from here. They might let you check out the catacombs if you ask nice. Oh, sounds... that sounds awesome. I suppose. You discovered a new map location. Old mission. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the, the foraging thingamajig. Alright, let's go get in here. Alright, we got the nun, we got the the old. There's a haphazard stack of pews in the corner. Is there anything else around here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, a real life nun. Uh, yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. And I'm Jack John. What's with the cuts? <laughs> well, what the, well, what the cow's attack and so on. I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than a church, so... I also sell medical supplies. If you like your healing, to go. Uh... <laughs> do you need any rands, run, or anything? Can I buy some medical supplies? Let's do that. <laughs> Broken leg pills. <laughs> You're not sure which what? is stranger. That these work at all, or that they only work on legs. Also <laughs> blood building tonic, bottle of... Um, Londonanum. <laughs> an army, army fuel. fuel kit. Uh, this restores 10 HP. This kit only contains materials for treating physical trauma. For the mental kind, you're better off sticking to whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me buy that. Oh, there's an unlimited supply of those. Okay. Uh, increases your armor by 5. Oh, yes. Yes, I love some of that. And blood building tonic. Increasing your maximum HP by 10 for the rest of the day. Let's buy that. Okay. That's that's it. <clears throat> Let's go and uh, give those pills to the dude on the floor. Who's probably still there. <clears throat> 
you happen across an abandoned crate which apparently fell off a wagon or something since you since the lid has been knocked loose. You know what that means. You fish through the crate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you fish through the crate and help yourself to the contents, which appear to be mining gear. So you're even more right than you knew. You got an item, thermos of spiked coffee and smelling salts. Sweet. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? This bottle of full of foul-smelling ammonia crystals, designed to disgust people into being more awake. <laughs> Gives you one additional action point when used in combat. Okay. Uh, when you work deep underground, it's hard to keep track of whether it's an appropriate time to drink whiskey or an appropriate time to drink coffee. Eventually, you just drop t stop trying. <laughs> Increases your speed by one for the rest of the day. Okay. Let's save that one. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go give that. Give this guy his stuff. Uh, hello? Were you able to get some broken leg pills? Without them, I'm stuck just sort of laying here in the street. Yep, here you go. Phew, I feel like a new man again. Or at least the same man with a new leg. <laughs> That's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? He waves and skips happily away. Well, that was nice. Cool. Don't want to forget that I have uh, EXP to spend. I have, uh, I have 144 and I haven't spent anything. Alright, so... What should we, like, dump on for uh, for her here? Like, do, you, do we want to make her, like, a, a glass cannon? <laughs> Muscle bound? Or, uh... Put a lot of stuff into the gun to balance her out? I don't know, it's all up to you. Okay, let's see. Let's make her muscle bound. Just because it's, it's fitting for us. Uh, let's see, uh, we can increase the dick green, intimidating, tough customer. Uh, let's get these things done first, because these are, historically, these have been a lot harder to do, and beef up. Uh, okay, let's, let's get this one, first aid, and then what else? Uh, I have, uh, tough customer, uh, yes, intimidating, yes, and then, uh, it's unfortunately, it's 100 XP. And I only have 39 at the moment, so... Yeah, these should open up some, some options for us later. <clears throat> okay, uh... I forgot what we were doing again. I guess getting a, a, a low... Uh, a layout of the land, or we were going to deliver a, a message. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> well, I'd like to send a postcard. Mmm... Richard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, uh, oh, it's one of the prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. Thanks. All right. I just know we've read that one before, so I didn't bother. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. The mercantile. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. <laughs> Look at her face there, because it's freeze frame. Uh, let's see. A, p a lock. Why would we need a lock, though? I'll buy one just to see why. It was... had your name on it because a wizard did something. The padlock got its name because it's like a wizard that protects your house. Okay. Oh... <laughs> uh. Okay, well, uh, maybe we might need it for one thing or another. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's 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 move on. Let's go travel a while. See what we can get done. All right. Uh, let's go to Stern's Ranch. It's closer. <clears throat> you encounter an overturned wagon. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh, never mind. I didn't read the rest of that. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders made an untimely and tragic. You pour over the the detritus <laughs> and manage to find exactly one book that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting to you. You got Advanced Cow Punching, Volume 187. Nice. Let's crack that book open. Alright, what should we get? The thick Skin, Bull Stomp, or The Haymaker? 
Well, keep that three-sided dice. Open map. Open and sesame. At three. One. Hmm, thick skin. <clears throat> you pull out the conveniently included sheet of sandpaper out of the book and rub your skin with it until it's nice and thick. You can, <laughs> you got a skill, thick skin. Then you put, uh, then you try to put the sandpaper back in the book and end up ruining the whole thing. Perhaps. <laughs> I love that. You just find you just find ways of just destroying the book. The book was intentional. Uh, oh, cool. We got a needle. Another needle. Yep. And another needle. Hmm. No, no, that's just a conveniently hmm. similar looking house. Jethro Stern's devoted father died in 1895. Looks like Jethro's bones are dug up by some varmint or another. Search him. You find a charred locket among the blackened bones. You get an item, charred locket. Let's see what it is. You should call it a locket on an account of how it was lucky to escape that fire. Examine. The lock on the locket reminds you why they call it a locket. Oh, <laughs> we can pick it. Let's go do that. You carefully pick the locket lock. And you get an item, picture of Mary Stearns. Uh, a fa oh, sorry. a faded daguerreotype of a little girl. The name Mary is written on the back. Mm. The photograph of the serious-looking little girl on the back is written Mary Stearns, Thanksgiving 1894. Sad. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, let's see what the other... This is... Uh, this, this flower is smoking. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you got an item. Smoking Christathan... Whatever that is. Oh, okay. What he said. This flower apparently still has a lot of smoldering to do. This item goes on your lapel. Plus two spell damage. Okay, well, uh, we're not really, really built for spells. Stuff. Yeah. Gwendolyn Stearns, devoted mother, died 19... Sorry, died, died 1895. As you approach the grave marker, the hair on your back, uh, Nick, stands up as a voice whispers in your ear. Uh, uh, give it to me. Give it to me. Um, <laughs> give what to you, I guess. Oh, I guess, yeah, that's your line. <laughs> give what to you. The air grows colder. The picture, the picture of me. I can see it. You have it. You shouldn't look at it. Nobody should look at it. Uh, I guess you must be married. Uh, why don't? Uh, well, why? Okay. Uh, this might be a multiple choice one. So flip that die, bro. Uh, uh, okay, let's get a two-shot of die. What? All right. The whisper. Oh, yeah, there you go. Why don't you want anyone to look at it? The whispering gets quieter. Anger seeps in the uh, in the area around the edges of the voice. Because they'll know. Give it to me. Okay, okay. Here's a picture or know what? <laughs> All right, this is another multiple choice. Let's go. One again. Oh, okay. You hold the photograph out towards the grave marker, and it disintegrates in your hand. Thank you. The air returns normal. You hope Mary finds some peace now. Now, now I do kind of vaguely remember, if you refuse to do that, uh, you will engage in a battle against her, and she has, like, the highest stats in the game, and you are most likely going to die. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing the dice was on our side. Yep. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse contents. <laughs> Open the door. Let's go. Open. All right. Let's go. Oh, nice. Plus four muscle now. 
Still can't kill it, though. Slice! <laughs> Blast! What was that about not killing it? <laughs> well, I mean, on one shot. Uh, the the outhouse. Turn. The outhouse is now safe as a house. Outhouse. <laughs> By the soft light of the fading embers, you, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out your prize with the other. You got an item, the toilet pistol. <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> it's a stronger than I have already. Let me see, uh, pistols. Uh, no, my pistol's also, stronger. Damage instead of physical damage. Yeah, this pistol's pretty comprehensively toileted up. <laughs> Deals stench damage instead of physical. Apply five poison to enemy. I mean, hmm, very tempting. Tempting. Uh, I doubt everything is poisonable. True. It's an RPG after all. <laughs> it's a crate. You got. Oh, that looked like the dragon radar for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you got an item, full canteen, and a bar of soap. That bar of soap would have been helpful earlier. <laughs> Unfortunately, you didn't get the lucky dice roll. No. It's a locked box. True to its name, it's locked. Oh, great. I need a better lock, lock, picking, lock picking perk. No, you just need a better item. No, it said right there, uh, requires loot picking. So I need a, a perk to do that. Uh, I see, I see. There are still some beans in this pot. All right, grab them. You upend the pot into your pack. You got an item: blackened beans. <laughs> this is a plate of beans that got left in a fire for weeks. They're still edible, but you could also probably use them as stove fuel in a pinch. Increases your spell damage by five. <laughs> stove fuel that could be useful. I wonder if it means that literally or is just saying that. All of the books on this shelf are burned, but you notice something strange about the back of the shelf. Invest I see, we got a good amount of moxie for that. Your deaf fingers find a hidden catch, and the back panel of the shelf slides away to reveal a secret compartment. There's a book inside. You got an item. Mary Stern's diary. A little girl's diary, brown, a little around the edges, but otherwise untouched by the fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first page says, in a little girl's handwriting, this is the diary of Mary Stearns. The AI and Derry are crossed out in IA written above them. The diary starts out as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice writing getting shakier. Found a dolly under the cactus out back as she tore, told me uh, told me her name was Grace. Mom, oh, this was Grace. Mama and Papa don't believe me that she talks. They say I got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are gonna get us, but Papa says, "Well, be okay, cause though there this weren't never a cow ranch." Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can. Uh, keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with her. Do I continue reading or no? I'll leave that up to you. Why not? <laughs> okay. I don't think this kind of tea party... I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it is important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad that they couldn't find Effie. Papa said she's been gone so long that she should put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa says she's only 11. How far could she have gone? And Mama started crying yet again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I has to. Keep reading or no? Yeah, I don't see why not. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he didn't find him. Mama cries so much, I tried to tell her him and Effie are helping the cows away, but she don't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again. But she says, I gotta. If I don't, cows will eat all three of us. She said, either I get Mama or Papa to play, or else I gotta play by myself. That's the last entry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, scary. Let's go over here. The toy box contains a single object. A creepy burnt porcelain doll. Oh, great. I need to have... Yeah. I need a five mysticality in order to, to talk to it. Which we don't have. What's that for? I think. You know, uh, let me see. Mysticality. I have three at the moment. 
I could increase it. So, let's see. So there you go, I should have five now, right? Let's, let's go, let's go do that. Oh, I can do that now. It's the work of a, it's the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. Pull the string or no thank you. Should we do it or no? Well, it's no thank you would just mean that you don't do anything. So let's just pull the string. You pull the string. The doll's eyes roll back into its head and its mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? <laughs> okay, this we can do her dice. <laughs> Hmm. One. Okay. Oh, no, wait, that's just two. Okay, and then your business all. None of your business, doll. The doll's head uh, shakes back and forth violently. Hee <laughs> hee. You're funny. Do you want to play with me? Yes, for Let's Play. No, I don't have time for games. Ooh, choices. Two. Okay. That's okay. Somebody else will come along soon. You already did anyway. <laughs> the doll goes silent. Darn. You shudder as you realize that talking to dolls... Uh, you shudder as you realize that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. <laughs> Spooky. Uh, am I still able to talk to it? Oh. Oh, oh. Just do the opposite of what we do. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, yes, let's play? Sure. Okay. Hooray! Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. We helped me finish it. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we can uh, do so. Surely. Hooray! The game's almost over! Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you go into a secret room? No, what is it? The magic word is peanut butter. The doll goes silent. Got it. Peanut butter. As you shudder, you realize yet again that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. Alright. Let's go then. Is it down here? Uh, ooh, a safe. The safe is scorched, but its contents are probably still safe. Ah, uh, we need safe cracking one for that. Pile loose boards. There's still some food on the shelf. You got sarsaparilla, jellied escargots, and sugar guns. Nice. Ah, here it is. There's a weird cow-shaped stain on the wall. Butter. Oh great. Altar room. What the hell? <laughs> Atop the sinister looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. <laughs> this is a two option choice. Oh, take the goblet or destroy the goblet. What does Jack do? Wow, getting a lot of two. Destroy the goblet. You don't know what this is, but you know it's abominable. You grab the goblet and smash it against the altar. Everywhere at the bloodlands, cracks appear. The altar groans as it crumbles into ruin. <laughs> I ain't had no. You know, it, this game has been like the most mobile Jack has been. I don't think I think Jack has been like the most uh, uh, honorable <laughs> protagonist we've had. I was honestly expecting mass chaos in all our choices, but, uh, yeah. Grace's eyes glow red. She must have known what you did. You'll live to regret this. <laughs> her mouth snaps shut and her eyelids close. Well, that's a little bit ominous. Let me see. Grace isn't speaking to you anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we actually went through that. I guess we'll never know. Never know. Okay, uh, I don't think we did anything that requires us to go back to Dirtwater. 
Okay, uh, let's go to the Dave Yard. Yeah, that was something she wanted us to do, the partner. You discover what is either an open grave or a very deep and rectangular pothole. Alright. <laughs> well, if it if it, it's a pothole, you must have been here for a very long time because you found the remains of an antique traffic accident. You got an item, handful of loose teeth, skull chips, and an old wedding ring. Alright, let's see what these things are. Uh, honeymoon is definitely over for this old tarnished silver thing. Okay, so it's a sellable thing. It doesn't even give, in, uh, give any stats. Alright. Some itty bitty bits of skull once they were good for keeping someone's brain salsa inside, but not anymore. <laughs> Only five meat. Perhaps you could sell them to a dental student. <laughs> the handful of loose teeth. And sugar guns! These little gun shaped candies made with real gunpowder. <laughs> Increase your range damage. That one. Okay, and what is, that? what is this? This is a can of garden variety garden snails, preserved and suspended in a gelatinous ooze. Yum. <laughs> Increases your moxie by three. And. I definitely want to save these for when the game gets harder. Yeah, you were never sure how to spell this, and you still aren't. Increases your moxie by three for the rest of the day. So, okay, uh, I remember this joke. If you keep getting sarsaparilla, the spelling changes each time. Because <laughs> you don't know how to properly spell it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice detail. Okay. Here lies Dave B. 1834 through 1844. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. I have to desecrate a grave. You dig up the grave just to check the veracity of the epitaph. Sure enough, boots, but no pants. You got an item, brown boots. Dude, if, if my vo if I have to keep saying it with this voice, it, it's going to really uh, um, strengthen my my vocal range. I think that's like I think this is the first time I've ever tried doing um, consistent DBZ announcer voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, aside from a, a light dusting of what looks like a blue chalk, these boots are remarkably well preserved for having spent so much time in a grave. Plus one maximum AP. Do I even have boots on? Uh oh, it automatically put it on. That's the I, I've been working. You didn't have it. <laughs> I was barefoot this entire time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Here lives Dave C. Went down in a theater. These remains look pretty restless. Put him down for good? Yes, let's go do that. Okay, uh... Looks like we're gonna have to beef up. Is that enough? No. Um... <laughs> slice! And then shotgun! Oh, short. There you go. You made the restless remains more restful. You get an item, skeleton bone. Alice picks up a bone and examines it carefully. Hooray! Alright, uh, you don't have a bone to pick, but you have a bone. <laughs> okay, funny. Here lies Dave J. Rapapow. These remains look pretty restless. Put them down? Yes, let's go do that. Uh, he's got two by four! <laughs> okay, well, that's that's unfortunate. And swat. There we go. You made the restless yet again more restful. You got another skeleton bone. Alice picks it up and examines it carefully. Okay, so one thing I remember from uh, the, the the other uh, female partner that you could have gotten is that every single time that you killed a cow, uh, she would add a notch to her her, her uh, rifle, and then after a certain amount of time, her uh, uh, the rifle would do more damage uh, based on the amount of cows you killed. So, just a little tidbit of information there. So I don't know what it would happen. Yeah. Here lives Dave L. Died of a heart attack. See you in thir in negative thirty six years. What? <laughs> huh. 
Here lies Dave G. He was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the gravedigger left his lunchbox here. <laughs> oh boy, free lunch. You got an item, Vienna blood sausages, and a thermos of spiked coffee. And they said there's no such thing. <laughs> These bones are jumping around to beat the dickens. <laughs> beat the dickens out of them. It's just saying it in that voice is hilarious. Alright, uh, we got a chef one. I'm sorry, a patisserie. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh no! Oh, we got hit with spooky damage. You check the bones for Dickens. Nope, you beat them all out. <laughs> <laughs> you got another. <laughs> oh, it goes. Just taste the remains of your dead foes. Oh, nice. Hurry! Okay, what do we got here? It's a pile of bones that isn't moving around for a change. <sighs> Dig through it. It's mostly just boring, broken bones, but you find a skull with a weird tag on it. You got an item skull with an odd tag on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what it is. This skull has a little paper tag tied to it, which has inter-cemetery loan on one side and some notes on the other. The tag on the skull has a serial number and it says it was borrowed for the submission catacombs on February 19th, 1886. Jeez, this thing is really late. <laughs> Skulls, check him out. Check out. <laughs> this game's really funny. <laughs> Here lies Dave G, murdered by a different feller named Dave G. Okay. Here lies Dave D. The truth was out there. It killed him. Okay. The one uh, left is you visit inside. Now what do we got here? Nothing? Okay. This is one of those things that have they have in mausoleums. Mausoleum. Whatever. You know. Mausoleums. <laughs> Mausoleums. There we go. I said it right this time. You know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. Uh, oh, I think this is like infinite fighting. Like, if you really wanted to grind out, you could do this. Um, let's just fight one, and then we'll say we did it. <laughs> oh, this guy has 50 health. Wait, no. Oh, that's me. Okay, that's 24 health. I was like, whoa. Nah, he's doing lame damage. <clears throat> you did it. You dragged a skeleton out of a drawer and then beat it up and put it back in the drawer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess theoretically this would be a good spot to like uh, to get uh, Alice all the bones she needs. Keep it in mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. A pentagram. It's a big stone sarcophagus. This is oh, uh, this is a pile of mostly burned rags that may be used to be a person. Investigate. You dig through the rags and find a few things that look like they were that they're worth keeping. You got an item: gore spluttered scroll, human ashes. Hmm, this thing's kind of a receipt here. You got an item: robe receipt. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this scroll is almost too covered in blood and, uh, viscera, or vis viscera, to read. Lucky for you, you've gotten all the practice reading inside of a dog. <laughs> read it. You scrape the largest of the giblets off the scroll and read it. It says to take a pile of human ashes and spread them out in the shape of a person inside of a red chalk ritual circle. Then sprinkle them with the stardust and place a mostly perfect or better, glass sphere, where the heart would be. Anyway, that's the gist of it. The actual text has a lot more of these and thous and such as like that. Plus, there's a bunch of weird gibberish you're supposed to say out loud while you're doing it. Okay. Okay. And human ashes. I'm going to get my voice to rest of it. <laughs> this is a human in its final stage of the whole ashes to ashes thing. Well, part of one, at, <laughs> at least. A human gets harder to keep track of when it's, a pa it's in powdered form. 
examine them. It's a cremated earthly remains of a person. Someday they'll refer to these as cremains, but you will not approve. Okay. And robe receipt. This is a receipt for the delivery of 150 black silk robes. Which sounds pretty <laughs> ominous. It's time you started gathering clues about the whole per permabulation, per permabul per permabulatin dead situation that's going on around, around going on around these parts. You grab a notebook and paper clip the receipt to the first page. You got an item, Necromancer's Journal. You should check that out. Okay. You open up your Necromancer Journal and examine the information you've collected so far. You found a receipt for the robes. Looking at more closely, you see that there's a surcharge for delivery past Boulder Pass. That means the Necromancer's lair is definitely west of the mountains. Good to know. <laughs> Come here, let's do it even. Oh, looks like there's that's everything you've got so far. Okay. <laughs> Some kind of ritual circle drawn on the ground. <laughs> In red chalk. Hmm, let's see. According to the gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and a glass sphere if you want to do this ritual. You dig through all of your stuff, but you find it, you don't find any glass sphere. Nuts. I don't you know what that would. That glass sphere. I don't know what that would do though. <laughs> it's a pentagram. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, let's go. Probably something deadly. So. No, we just summon. To... Summon it to kill it. <laughs> Yeah, but well, we might be under level report anyways. Okay, well, we're a little bit over time, uh, so everyone, we will see you guys for the next episode of West Loathing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.